much easier. Tip number six, and this is my favorite, the occlusal embrasure. So you're seeing a number 15 blade. The hardest thing I've found to create during class two composite restorations is that occlusal embrasure. I mean, for years I used to use a flame finishing burr to try to create this subtle detail. And you know, it helps the patient enable them to floss between their teeth. But I always gouged the restoration and it was a losing battle with that flame burr. And even at slower RPMs, it's super tricky to use. I now routinely use a number 15 blade which you're seeing here, or a 12B blade to create that subtle feature, which is so hard to do with burrs. And what I do is I tell the patient that I'm doing some fine detail work and I apologize for the chipping noise because it is a chipping noise that's going on, but it's so much more precise. And the 12 blade is really useful to remove flash from the buccal or pedal side or the gingival side. And because the 12B blade has actually a blade 